Hey guys, what's up? It's Revev here, and I made a new series on my channel. It's uh, it's about helping editors become better editors, basically. Um, I say I'm a decent editor. I'm obviously not the best. I'm obviously not amazing. But I do know a thing or two about editing, and I'd like to share it with all the other editors out there trying to be better. Because I once was at that stage. I still am trying to get better. Um, I think I'm, I've learned a lot of stuff about After Effects now. I really just want to share it with you guys. So today I'll be showing you two things, the black bars on the top and bottom to make it kind of have a widescreen movie effect to it, I guess. A lot of people, some people I'd imagine don't know how to do that, it's really simple. The other effect is called CC Lens, it's uh, going to have the bubble effect, it's going to make it look like bubbles like shooting out or something like that, it looks really sick I think. <coughs> Sorry, I have a cold today, and um, so I'll just show you what it looks like now. When it'll be all done and finished, this is what it'll look like. Oh. Yep, and you hear my reaction there, so I'm just gonna mute the audio. <coughs> and um, that's what it looks like. It looks pretty sick, I think. So now I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So I'm gonna make a new project. Oops, I didn't mean to save that. So you go down to file, import your, import the clip. That's what I'm doing at least. You probably already have a, bunch, a couple of clips on there. Alright, so here's the clip that I'm using. I'm just going to mute the audio. And then uh, to make the black bars, you go up to layer, new, solid. Make sure it's a black solid. Alright, so there it is. Now you want to make sure that it is highlighted down here. And while it's highlighted, you go up to effect, generate, and then grid. Alright, so this sh should come up. So, you want to set this to zero. You want to set this to zero. You want to change this to width and height sliders. And the width and height it depends on what you're recording in. If you're recording in uh, 1080p, you want to set this to 2000. But if you're recording in 720p, which is what I'm doing, you want to have it a ways off 2000. So I'm going to put this to 2500 really wide <coughs> and then for the height if you're recording in 720p which I'm doing you want to put it at 1080p but if you're recording in 7 if you're recording in 1080p you want to set it set it to 720 so set this to 1080p cuz I'm recording in 720 you want to bring the border to where you want the black bars to you know reach then you want to take this and drag this all the all the way off change the color to black because obviously you don't want it to have some like pink shit on there like like this although it would be interesting if you had some kind of effect that changed the colors of it but yep so that's how you make the black bars really simple extremely simple probably the simplest thing about editing itself but uh, now to make the CC lens effect or the bubble effect you want to take the clip and you want to duplicate it by pressing control D then you want to go to the effects and presets tab and type in CC lens because it comes with after effects CC I don't know if I'm about CS6 it probably does but you want to take it and drag it onto the clip that's above the other original clip you want to change the size down to zero then you want to go to where you shoot and go and then click here to the previous frame one frame before when he shoots then you want to click this little stopwatch thing which basically means when something starts to change or when it starts to move so then you want to move forward I'd say about this much and then drag this all the way out to 500 so then it stretches all the way out and that is how you do it guys. I'm just going to show you what this looks like. I'm going to pre-render it. I think it looks dope. <laughs> A lot of people do too. So here it is. And that is how you do that guys. Uh, pretty soon I'll have a tutorial on how to make 3D text on Element 3D. It's really simple too. I'll show you guys how to sync with time remapping and Twixter and all that fun stuff. Uh, so yeah, guys, stay tuned to my channel for more editing tutorials. Um, I'll leave my Skype in the description, 
maybe if I don't please remind me so then you guys can contact me about editing and uh, yeah make sure you subscribe like comment tell me what you think about this new series and thanks for watching guys and see you bye